Hello, I'm Lee Morrison and welcome to Bespoke Addict YouTube channel. Now we have here a pair of um, old um, bench made um, Barker shoes. They're made in Northampton. In fact, they were a gift for my wife about seven or eight years ago and I've loved this pair of shoes and I've worn them extremely heavily. They have been modified in the past. Um, I do this to many of my ready to wear shoes. Um, I've got a large collection of bespoke and I've also got quite a lot of ready to wear. And naturally the ready to wear don't fit like a bespoke shoe. Now I have, this is probably my favorite shape. This is a, um, a Foster and Son um, bespoke shoe tree. And this was made for another Foster and, Foster and Son pair of shoes I own, which are in fact bespoke. And this was a bespoke tree to fit into those. Now they're probably the best fit of all the shoes I own. So what I do is I use this tree to insert into my ready to wear and um, I reshape with steam onto, onto this tree. Now this is done probably three or four years ago on this, this pair. They've had an awful lot of wear and they've, they've, they've stretched again. You know, they've become very baggy and sort of wrinkled. And I, I really do wear them a lot. I walk for miles in them. I walk on the beach, they get wet in the rain. I, I, just, I just wear them because I know that I can revive them afterwards. And um, then now they've come time to, uh, to be reshaped and I want to share that with you and show you what to do. Um, first things first, I have to strip away all of the polish. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be uh, re completely removed and all of the broguing has kind of got old crusty. So I use tiny little, um, these are like uh, clock maker screwdrivers, that type of thing. You know, to sort of very carefully fish out any and any, any, any polish that's built up because you do lose the holes due to the build up of polish. When the shoe's completely stripped back, I will then resize the shoe with steam. Um, so all of this sort of floppy bagginess here. And there's about 10 millimeters in the vamp um, coming down to this area. Um, you know, it's, it's very spongy. It should be extremely tight. And it was originally tight, you know, following my last sort of uh, reshaping. It was very, very tight onto these trees and it's just stretched. So I'm gonna go through the process again. Um, it does play a little bit of havoc with the surface of the skin, um, but we've got quite a lot of cuts and scratches, um, you know, so it's just wear and tear, you know, they've, they've started to get very, very minute surface cracking, you know, just where the skin constantly flexes. And um, that'll be easier to get out um, when, um, when they've been shrunken, when they've had the steam. At the moment, the, the cracks butt together. And if I try to sort of sand them out, they, 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 they sort of sink down. When they've had the steam, they go the other way. The, um, the crack, it rises up and it rises and it, it opens. So you've got that little peak. It's only a, a fraction of a millimetre or so, but it does feel rough. So you can use an abrasive to sort of sand that away, make it nice and smooth. Anywhere where the skin's a little bit wrinkled, um, will suddenly become tight, but it might feel slightly rough after the shrinking process. So I use the abrasive all the way through just to give a very smooth finish to the skin before I start to try and treat it with moisturiser and bring the, bring the condition and the colour back up. They are very ready for a resole, these pair of shoes. Um, they've actually got the original sole on, covered by um, like a, it's called a topi, I think. Um, it's just a piece of, just a piece of rubber that um, cobblers put on there for you. I wore them, wore them. The original sole became very thin. I didn't wear it through, but you could, you could poke your thumbs into it and it sinks easily. Um, the same's happened to the, to the, to the, to the rubber that's on there. It's gone very thin. It should be stiff. You shouldn't get any, you could complete resistance. You shouldn't be able to dig your thumbs in. Like they just sink in. It's like pressing plasticine. So that will get peeled off and a complete new one, which will be much thicker. Um, notice this shoe that doesn't have a tree in it. It's kind of, it's all, it's not, it's not flat. It's, it's curled up and it's, it's curling across, across the center there. That's the bit that takes the most wear. When you wear through a pair of shoes, it, you end up with a hole in the middle here. Um, some people take the toes out. I, I don't, the way I walk, it doesn't seem to shred the toes, but I'm heavy on heels and, and, and I get through, you know, this sort of, on the, the ball of the foot goes through rather quickly. Um, it, it is an instance where you can have a complete new sole and heel fitted, but I don't want to. I want to keep the original. I like the original stitching. I don't like to have the machine, you know, travelling through and punching new holes. I like to keep that. And because I'm going to wear them a lot, I'll keep the original, which is thin, and have, have the veneer put back on. But we'll do that after, in a week or two, when these are completely done. So, um, 
I think that's all I need to say on this introduction, really. Um, you know, we've got a wrinkled pair of shoes, and I'm going to make them look very, very tight and much, much newer and more presentable. And they'll have a more bespoke appearance, the, the sort of baggy, floppy, um, the, all, the, all that floppiness will be gone. They'll be very, very tight and a little flatter and just smoother. They'll be lovely. I think you'd be surprised at the, um, at the, uh, at the transformation. So it's quite a lengthy process. It's going to take a few hours. And this is going to come as uh, two or three different videos. So I do, I, I do hope you find this helpful, and um, you know, if you enjoy it, you know, give the give the channel a thumbs up, and uh, please uh, subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, you'll get obviously instant notifications when the new videos arrive at different stages, and obviously various of the projects I'm going to be doing. Right, thank you for joining us on YouTube. Here, I'm Lee Morrison, and um, please enjoy the series of videos that are going to follow.